From downtown Auckland here. Sky Tower, our number one landmark, um, which is the uh, big tall needle there, the tallest building in the southern hemisphere. One of its claims to fame is that it is the largest Polynesian city of any city in the world. So we've got yeah. more Polynesian people in Auckland than any other part of the world. The diner roll. A couple of red billed gulls out there. Beautiful little pond. <laughs> Zealand dab chick. Why the this is his Australian cousin. A little yellow spot on him. We're going to go in here and uh, Hope to see a kiwi in its burrow. Oh, that is a kiwi. In the burrow. It's basically the other one. There's no in his two eyes. <laughs> Red billed gull. We're going through Wellsford, North Island. need to go before we get going. My name's Dale. There's a lot of activity out there at the moment. We expect to probably see a lot. and Auckland in the background just going in behind it. The America's Cup would sail in that area right in the middle there, back toward Auckland. It's the far one, yeah? White fronted turn, diving petrols. A new family. What's petrol? Sitting close by them, I think I saw a short tailed shearwater in there too. Ooh. And some a couple of sooties. Short tailed shearwater with a bunch of flesh footed. Fluttering shearwater right there. Seriously. <laughs> 
blue penguin there. to do the rat check here. <laughs> Brown coil up there. There's Auckland through there. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Spirit of New Zealand training kids seamanship, etc. It's unreal, but she didn't know that at the time, and she was in charge. Pohutukawa tree down there, enormous. Flowers in December. This tree spreads, and it just re-sprouts. It gets larger and larger. This is a special feeder for stitch birds. They get in there, but the larger honey eaters don't. The old birds obviously don't. That's a female stitch bird there. This is one of the few valleys that when they cleared and burnt the island as vegetation for farming that uh, didn't get burnt out. So that a lot of the trees down here are you know, date back hundreds of years old. A thousand years old, that tree. Robin. Yep. I was born with ten fingers, and uh, I think I'm going to lose one now, but... I'm sticking my hand to find a gray-faced petrel chick. There are burrows in the ground all along this hillside. And uh, we will soon find out. The burrow is further back than my arm reaches. Wow. So, um, there's another one. Uh, again, too deep. I don't hit the back and uh, I don't feel any air movement in there in case it was trying to get away from her. This is one of the burrows here. Thank you. You're hearing the dong chorus. That loud one is the whitehead.
That's an eagle ray. Shorebirds over there. You can't tell it and I can't tell it, but those are rye bills. That was Eric. There's the rye bill. Black billed gull. first uh, was exploring this coastline he he named this area the Bay of Plenty and that's where we are at the moment we're in the in the Bay of Plenty. Kiwi orchard here where this wind breaks fruit go grow down into those arbors open arbors easily picked. Now what we're gonna do Assuming you're interested, is go for a little bit of a wander. See all the steam coming up from yeah. the side of the street here? Yeah. <laughs> Normally, as visitors, you're welcomed onto the Marae by being called on. It's a very, very significant, very, very spiritual, intense experience um, when you're called onto the Marae. Eventually, a whole heap of speeches and so forth, and finally you end up meeting the local people and shaking hands and also doing the thing they call the hongi, the pressing of noses, which is the mingling of breath. And finally you'll be invited into the meeting house, which is very, very sacred. The other and, and often people will sleep inside the meeting house. Māori culture was um, mostly non-material. The board that runs along the back is his backbone. All of the things running down the side, can you see all the painted boards and so forth? Mm -hmm. Those are his ribs, all right? Mm -hmm. All of the people that are standing, Tamati Kapo is actually standing right at the top of that main pole. You see him standing there dressed as a Māori warrior with huia feathers. Underneath that, all of the people who are standing one on top of the other represent other ancestors. Inside that, it's St Faith's Anglican Church, and the entire church is carved in a similar manner to this. There's a sandblasted window of a picture of Christ um, dressed as a Māori warrior and it looks like he's walking on the waters. <laughs>
time your feet walk upon the land where our ancestors used to live. So through your feet your spirit connects to the spirit of the land. The rhythm, the beats are there to portray the words we sing. Kaka. Oh yeah, look at that. He's showing off now. Profile. Going right. Nice colors. Long nose beetle. Sure he's not a man eater. Lake Taupo. Yeah. <laughs> On the other side of the river. Grey Warbler. It's a mountain beach tree.
above tree line here on the volcano. The crater right over that edge there, and, and this volcano erupted in last September, not too long ago. And that's some ash on the side of the hill there. Tony Crocker said these stones didn't roll down here, they were pitched. Dropping vermin poison, rats and possums and such. So that's sort of, the sort of material that they're dropping, but this particular one is not poisonous. Yeah. What they do is pre-feed them and, yeah. and get them used to it before yeah. the real McCoy. Yeah. Yeah. Volcanic ash. A lot more prosperous looking than Turagi when we stopped this morning. What's the name of the town? Tai Happy. Tai Happy. Very, very erosion prone, which is why they plant. Green Finch. Male brown teal. Walking toilet. Touch the button and slide the door. There you go. You're gonna be stuck in there. <laughs> the lone bowling over there. Wellington. Capital city. Looking for the shore plover. That's good. The ferry will probably go over to Picton on in the background. Train going on under the lower deck. Beautiful New Zealand forests. <laughs> New Zealand laser in the
There he is. Wake from the ferry. Fluttering shearwaters. I'm not sure if many. come across a few of the New Zealand fur seals. Salmon pong. Uh, Passenger surfacing now ahead of us. So, dusky dolphins, they're uh, medium sized. From the surface are there to stop the seals getting in. Drying out those wing feathers. Uh, the difference between our New Zealand fur seals is that true seals have a lot more blubber than our guys. And our seals also have the ability to pull their hips up beneath them on land and give a pretty good attempt at walking. There's our gold Motorola Island. Yeah, for our Kiwi and stuff, we've got about uh, 10 or 12 Kiwi on the island. Typical behaviour for them, like I said, they do like, we disturb the ground, they hop out just as they look like you think they might be quite an easy catch for those predators. And they do make the surface and this fat little guy's there ready to have a feast on them. These, guys. These are bellbirds singing in here. They're in back there. Little blue checks. As a memorial to Captain James Cook, who visited that spot three times on his round the world voyages. Actually marks a spot I think he's saying he would prefer a pretty yeah. young girl in the picture as well. <laughs> would it be me then? <laughs> Actually marks the spot where Captain Cook raised the flag uh, to declare the South Island. The right island is where King Shag's nest. The uh, predator free reserve islands have got long Here we all are on this tower. Crickets. Cut monument. Make a decision about certain things you will do and certain things you won't do, and wringing chickens' necks is not one of mine. Coming back to Picton. Spray doesn't bother Patsy. Black fronted turn. Daddy, a turn about you. Salt ponds. That's easy as well. Brian flies. California coast going north. No, it's the New Zealand coast going south. Spotted shanks on this. That's a seal jacuzzi right there. Nesting white fronted terns along with the gulls. Oh well, we'll have um, some briefings and then we'll get out of the way. Good idea. Move our boat out of the water. 
I'd say this is a first. Oh yeah, on, on the boat. Yeah. You try to find him. Um, and as we go, we keep a list of all the birds and you're welcome to a photocopy of that at the end of it. Alright, well good morning guys. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Jess. I'm just going to run through some of the safety equipment that we Southern giant. Thank you. 